BDG family, Kevin here, and I got to say, I am super excited today. I just received something in that I have been basically waiting all year for. Um, it's probably one of the uh, last big uh, unboxings I should have. Before we get too much into it, we'll talk about it. Uh, so what I'm unboxing today is Final Girl Season 2 Wave 1. That's what I'm unboxing today. And um, I'm also going to be on, uh, well, I guess uncanning. Uh, one of my favorite seasonal beers, especially for October. This has been around, I don't know, probably for the last 10 years-ish. Um, this kind of has its own story. So what I'm drinking today is I'm drinking Tallgrass's Zombie Monkey. Uh, Tallgrass was a brewery out of uh, Manhattan, Kansas, and it actually went out of business uh, several years ago. And one of our local, uh, our local breweries, Wichita Brewing Company, their glass still totally representing is so faded. I was, I've had this glass for so long. Uh, they uh, they started reviving a lot of tall grass with stuff. I don't know if Zombie Monkey is necessarily one of you know the bigger ones. I don't think it is. There's definitely a few ones I think of ahead of Zombie Monkey when I think of tall grass. But this is one of my favorite porters. It's it's super rich. It's super heavy and just it's it's this is my Halloween beer if, if I was gonna say that. So I figured. Thing like unboxing the super thematic horror horror game without uh without my favorite uh seasonal beer. Yes, this is super rich. They say it's a robust porter. It's robust. I'll tell you right now, I always wait till it hits the shelves, and I am. I admit, I'm usually about as excited about that as I am about getting uh how as much as I was about getting Final Girl in today. So uh, yes, um. I will say a few things. I uh, my pledge is a little weird. I, I I didn't go all in because I've never played this game before, and I don't generally go all in on things unless I know I'm really gonna like them. They gotta be from like a publisher I'm, I trust, you know, or you know something, some more content that's like all in. But I went and kind of cherry picked all the content I want. It was kind of one of those things where I just kind of like it. I want to have what I got. But, you know, I, I, I can definitely, they did announce they're doing a season three. Um, so what I have in this is basically going to be season one content. But I also have to say, I think there's something in here I didn't expect originally to ship. I'm usually pretty good. Yeah, I am. I'm seeing this right now. I'm geeking. I'm telling you now, I am geeking out hard. Okay, so what do we got here? We got some correction pack. I knew this was coming. Um, I mean, I knew it was coming because it was being shipped to me. Quartermaster ship. Did a great job. It was very quick. Where where do I even start here? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna start with the core box. So here is the final girl core box. Um, it is it's what you need to play the game. It kind of has all like uh, your components that you need to basically play all of them. Uh, the way they have this set up is very modular, um, like super modular. Like, not even just to the extent where you're, like, taking a different feature and you're playing it on there, but, like, they're all intermixed. Um, each one's got, like, two final girls, and then each one's got a killer and a location. Uh, so you can mix all the killers, the locations, the final girls, and uh, you have your character board. So what this is, is we got a, like, a horror tracker, and then we also have some tokens, which we'll, we'll need for some stuff. We have just the basic rule book. And then we have this great little insert. It's holding uh, hearts to keep track of uh, your health. I believe your market clear in here. And I knew that about this game. I knew the components were really, really good as far as just having everything. Here's our dice that we're going to be rolling to try to attempt challenges. Um, there's plenty of room for stuff in here. I almost feel like start taking everything out, we'll know if we're missing anything. Um, but yeah, I got, some, I got some baggies and some tokens. And, uh, yeah, uh, some equals. They're kind of what's going to tell us uh, uh, if we got to save some victims. And uh, then we got our little pink final girl token. Um, and, uh, like, a red killer token. Um, that's another one of those things. I, I'm kind of, like, more of a gameplay first guy. And then I I decide if I really like it, we'll, we'll go in with the maze. It's all the things that you need to play the game. Stream horror, final girl. Oh, extreme horror, like super hard mode. Yeah, I've heard this game can be brutal. There's a lot of like luck mitigation on like your rolls. I don't think uh I don't think I'm ready for extreme horror off the bat. Anyway, so this is what it is. This is the final girl core box. 
and you need that to play the game. And I didn't totally put the uh, swear it. That's a swear. A little insert thing that needs to go over the top. So I'll tell you, I am quite a fan of porters and darts. So that's uh, this is it's not imperial. It's not like crazy, like super stout, but it is. It is robust. It is. I mean, you can tell it's it's, it's probably darker than anything in this room. I think three features um, from season one, the ones that I was like, oh my gosh, as a kid, you know, they kind of, uh, I won't say ripped off, but, you know, definitely borrowed from uh, different 80s horror movies. And I'm going to start with, I think, the one that is pretty much like the signature, uh, the signature one. And it is, well, this is the final girl, and she's kind of like the, the final girl cover um, character. These boxes get even crazier. Like that one was kind of cool. as like magnetic, you know, there's an insert. This is where it really starts to get interesting and where they kind of really impressed me at, um, when I was looking at this game. I mean, it's the one thing to say, I got a modular system, but it's a whole nother thing to kind of do it this way. So we have kind of, I would say like the, uh, the main killer of, uh, of season one, and that's Hans. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to take this apart like that. And we have Camp Happy Trails, which is, uh, well, that's the location, you know, kind of like, well, I don't even want to straight to say it. Like, here we go. We got Hans. Um, he's uh, Hans the Butcher. That's our killer. And then we got these cool, no, I'm just, I'm going to mess this up. Just trying not to take everything apart. But basically we have double-sided inside we got Hans so Hans has kind of got his own deck and then we got Camp Happy Trails and he's and Ca Camp Happy Trails has its own deck Ooh, for Lori's eyes only that's because I think she has like some special items that are just hers so we can probably just go ahead and snap this back here and we'll go ahead and put this back in here oh this is kind of the uh that's the special rules I better hold on. I bet there's a really good place to put that. There we go. These all come out. So, like, here is uh, a cards. Oh, and then he's got his own tokens, and we got uh, more cards. Um, setup cards. I believe each one of these, so not only are they modular, but each one's kind of got its, like, own setup. This one's got one, two, three, five different setups. So each, each thing, is this Camp Happy Trails? Yeah, so this is Camp Happy Trails. And it's got like a, it's got a bunch of different setups. I, I like that. A lot of different, a lot of replayability. A lot of replayability in this one. That's kind of why I was like, I'm just going to pick the ones I like. And if I like those, oh, then I can kick myself later and say, hey, you know, you, you could have went, you could have went all in and you've probably been okay. But I didn't do that. Oh, yeah. So we got different, we got different. They're all in the bottom. That's crazy. I, I definitely have to look up on how to kind of organize this. But that is okay. And this is Hans and Camp Happy Trail. Beautiful. These are basically kind of like cassette tapes. It's kind of what they're they're modeled after being like their own cassette tapes. All right. So the next one, this one isn't really, this is very thematic, but it's not really like anything based off of at least any 80s movie that I could name off the top of my head. I mean, I, everyone's kind of seen some weird carnival stuff. It's got different mechanics. And we got like a, uh, like Geppetto, I think. Yeah, yeah, Geppetto is what the, the villain's called. And take this off. All of them have these nice little covers, but I'm not going to leave them on there. Might use them for like uh, going through the component box. Uh, so, but yeah, we got two different final girls on this one. And this one is, yes, the Geppetto side. And then we have Carnival of Blood. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and snap snap the whole thing off. And here is our Carnival of Blood map. Um, bunch of tents, little coaster, with mirrors, you know, things like that. And then on the other side, um, we got Geppetto. Puppeteer, and he's got these little puppets. And then, yeah, we got we kind of got the same thing. Everything's, we got the Final Girls in there. Um, this is creepy. This is some creepy art. I mean, quite see that, but that is, uh, that's some good stuff. <laughs> we got Geppetto there. I think those are supposed to be like the puppets. Very cool. Um, but yeah, they have, they have minis for all of this. And like I said, it's one of those things where if, 
I really like this, and I'm going to know before. Uh, this is wave one. We have wave two still coming. Um, as far as gameplay goes, I'm pretty sure most of the gameplay I, I, I got is coming right now. Um, I have another feature coming in season two. There are ones that, like I said, just really stuck out to me. Um, like alien themed, and I'm a huge, uh, I'm not only a huge really Scott fan, I'm also a huge James Cameron fan. I think Aliens is one of the best uh, action movies of the 80s. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at YouTube Terminator. I, I mean, we're talking Cameron to Cameron. I, I like aliens a lot. Got Paxton in there. Kind of funny. Yeah. And now we got, this one's the other one that's very thematic. And I definitely watch a lot of this one around Halloween, especially in high school. Um, and this one is called, uh, this is Dr. Fright. And it's Dr. Fright and Maple Lane. And it's called Frightmare on Maple Lane. But this one, yeah, we got a uh, Freddy Krueger style villain. We got a final girl there. Another final girl there. All right, well, let's start here. And we got Dr. Fright. And, you know, I think other than it being like Freddy Krueger, uh, the thing that really uh, sold me on this one, ooh, the dream doctor, I'll show you this artwork. Super creepy. Um. The one that kind of sold me on this one was the location just kind of different. Because, like, I was looking at, like, like for example, um, like the Aliens one. Like, that, you can play the uh, Xenomorph on any of these places. So you can kind of, like, make your own, like, Alien Saga. Um, which sounds fun, especially when uh, you got Maple Lane. So, like, you know, I don't know if you're laying aliens, but it's a neighborhood. And I'm very excited about that. The Smalley House. Yes, this is going to be quite fun. I'm, I'm literally going to dig into this to try to get the playthroughs out before Halloween. Super on my list to do. A lot of things on my list, but this is one of them. So yeah, we got that one. And that is, I mean, like I said, there's three features. I mean, at bare minimum, we're talking three killers, three location. Take the final girls out of the equation. Take the setup cards out of the equation. I don't even tell you, like, each one of these, each one of these killers has, like, a I don't want to call it like an epilogue, but it's like almost a grand finale card um, that changes kind of how they act towards the end. So that changes the game too. So, I mean, we're talking bare minimum. Like if you're just thinking about it, locations and killers, we have nine different ones. And then I get the other two and it's like shot up to like 25. Um, but here's the thing. So I like something they had on there. These little boxes are, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like the aesthetic of them. And I knew back in five features and they made these to hold five feet amongst other things. So here it is. This is a, and this is, it's so crazy to ship boxes sometimes. Cause they get broke. Like I, I, a lot of companies won't do it. I mean, obviously this is a component, but this is Final Girl Series 1 box. And it obviously won't be full, just Series 1 for right now. Um, so the other ones from Series 1 I did back, um, I didn't necessarily resonate. And a lot of people are going to give me, you know, some flack for this. But uh, Poltergeist wasn't a huge, necessarily a huge Poltergeist fan. It's just not really my, I like, I like Scream. I like slasher flicks. Um, that kind of, Poltergeist stuff's kind of, eh. I mean, the best Poltergeist thing I enjoyed watching as a kid, like Treehouse of Horrors. Treehouse of Horrors. Um, Simpsons. That was, that was my thing. I like, I, I enjoyed that. Um. But I didn't really much care for Poltergeist. It wasn't my favorite. Um, and even some of like the more supernatural horror. It's just not really my thing. But uh, the other one on here is some kind of, what's it called? Um, Slaughter in the Groves. And that almost kind of reminded me of like a Scooby-Doo episode. I'm not even sure which one. Um, but it's good. Um, this game's got a lot of perks. Oh, I thought this was the, uh, the cover. And I was all boasting about it. It's still okay. It's, it's full artwork cover. It's, it's it's great it's you know they did a really good job with it they changed it a lot of people were kind of uh upset on the kickstarter that the artwork on these boxes did not match the original design i think like the original design for season one was just gonna be Hans, the butcher kind of in there and it's the final of season one it's really eerie but i mean i'm not even complaining about that especially when the box isn't i'm gonna probably showcase this on my shelf like this it looks great for a while that is until we get the rest of the stuff in. Because once we get the rest of the stuff in, I'll go ahead and show you what it's. This is smart for me to put this foam in here. 
So I kept it in shape. So we have three more boxes in here. And for somebody not going all in, I backed the play mat. But I didn't black the play mat. I didn't back the play mat for season one. I blacked the, I backed the season two play mat because it has stuff for season two. This is basically kind of what it's gonna look like when it's full. Mine won't look exactly like that right now. Um but I'm basically gonna have, like I said, two two season two features in here with it, and we can kind of see how this is gonna look with just what I have. Um so the top thing I pulled out was the uh was the play mat box. Ooh, we gotta I think I just like the killers on the outside. I mean yeah, the locations are cool, but why is this really snapping in? I probably don't have them on right. I'm not gonna blame anybody but myself. <laughs> so see the next one does it. It's just a, they keep opening. That one's not. So I just don't have that one on right. Yeah, so we're gonna throw those in there. Um and then I'll have two season two. This is a cast and crew. This would be like for the final girl minis, but I think there's a spot for this is like a small box film and it really just has another villain. Um season two was zombies, season one was birds. Like the Hitchcock thing. So I have like a zombies pack basically playable on all five locations that I'll have at that point. So that'll be great. And this is uh this one's for Terra from above. That's fine. I know it's not designed like just said that hey it's not really designed for you guys to do that, but I'm gonna mix and match in this box and if I decide when season three comes out that there's a couple more I want in there, I'll probably just go I'll get the rest of season two, get the season two box and maybe fill this one with season three. Get the Vendetta. Vendetta. Vignetta. I don't know. Yeah, that's what this is for. So it'll be like a, an extra like mini, basically a mini expansion in here. And then we got some bonus features. I'm not really sure what, I think this is for like some props and stuff. There's something in there. Not really, I'm gonna open it. I gotta open it. I will be like, you did all that and then you didn't open it, especially after I open it later. Like, so let's open this guy. So I'm very curious to see what Van Ryder is for uh, season three. Uh, it was cool, they kind of like, when this whole thing launched, they like showed off super cool, like how these boxes will like connect to each other. It looks super great. And I was like, oh, and then we're in season three. So now you gotta maybe figure out a different way to display them. But, oh my. Uh, so we have, ooh, I like it. We have some extra finale. That's what I was talking about. Finale. We have some epic finale cards. We have a feature one film rule book, an extra one. Oh, I like that. I think it's all those in one book. So, you know, that might also be worth kind of going on in season two. And it just kind of shows you. You got like a lore book, a feature film rule book, which is what I got right there. Uh, and uh, they have a gruesome death, which is kind of just adding some extra flavor text to things. Um, And then I'm going to tell you right now. This is literally just the whole planet. So it's empty. Um, there's not really a point to put it. You can kind of see how cool the... It's really hard to see. The playmats look cool. I can't wait to get them in. I couldn't have backed them unless it was something that I, I was super interested in getting. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much... Yeah, like I said, everybody's going to be like, why, why didn't you just go on in? This game's amazing. I, I Like I said, I don't know. I got a bunch of stuff coming in. Um, I backed on Settled, and it kind of has a similar, like, modular planetary exploration, and I, uh, I did the same thing there. So, I'll catch a little back when that happens, too. But, that's, that's, I'm assuming this is probably going to end up going real good. Well, I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I should just set this to the side, because I'm going to start, I'm going to get this all set up. I'm going to get my play mat back on my table, and I'm going to play this game. So I'm gonna play it through because I'm super excited about it. I like uh I this was like my this isn't my first solo only game, but like it's like the first big solo only game for me. I'm pretty excited about it. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, which which one do you would you say you're probably most interested if talking just like the horror genre of the '80s? You know, which one is which one that's just would be would be the one that you would start with? Because I'm not really sure. I think I'm gonna start with Hans because everybody starts with Hans, but you know, everybody's different. And we'll be doing this again, hopefully, uh, at the beginning of the year. Because I think that's about the point where Season 2 uh, is going to ship. And then we'll have a playmat. And we'll have 
couple more features to look at, and I will know if I made a grave mistake by then by not just going all in. But uh, thanks for joining me. I hope uh, everybody's having a a great day, like just super, super good day. Because I'm having a much better day, and I was already having a pretty good day. But uh, thanks for joining me on E Drink Game, and I will see you on the next one. Much love.